Hello, this is Jason with LMGI. Uh, here today we have a couple of quick tips for editing with Solid Edge synchronous technology. First, I'd like to point out how uh, when you select a face, any attached PMI dimensions will be shown, and you can make those a little more persistent just by choosing uh, Show Attached PMI on the right click context menu. Uh, also, when placing dimensions, you want to notice that the second element that you select is the element that moves by default. Kind of handy. So here I'm all set up to make my edit to the width of that rib because that was the second element that I selected. Probably most useful when you are dimensioning holes. The hole is usually the thing you want to move, so by selecting that second, um, that sets you up for the change that you're probably expecting. I'll go ahead and place um, another dimension here uh, across the top and if I just drop that down and hit escape real quickly so this is a brand new dimension uh, I didn't really click more than one element I just dropped it down on a on a brand new dimension when you bring your select tool over it you'll notice if you move your mouse to the center or to the left or to the right, it will give it a hint in a, in a sense as to how you would like to edit that dimension. So a little bit of a speed tip. If I know I want to edit this symmetrically, I would make that edit uh, in that way. And then when I click away, the next time when you come onto the dimension, you'll notice you won't have that option. Regardless of where I place my mouse, it will kind of know the last time that dimension was edited um, that's how it was edited. So it's going to give you more reliable edits in the future. And this is persisted right inside the file, right in the dimension. So even another user opens this up later, it's going to behave the same way. It's going to capture that design intent, but you can certainly override that with the arrows uh, in the future. So that's another uh, good little tip. And let's say we want to make a change to the, the size of this bottom flange. I start to make my change uh, and then I realize, well, I really want that rib uh, to come along with it, and I could probably make that as a secondary edit. But really, if you just select um, the, all the geometry that you'd like to move, um, all of the selected geometry will move together. So selection is key in synchronous technology. So obviously here I'm not getting the results that I probably would want. So what would you do? A lot of people would probably... Um, leave that they might draw another circle make a cut um, some sharp people might think well I'm gonna remove this hole and put it in later and you can actually do that uh, because synchronous modeling doesn't have any history you can actually sort and rearrange and drag and drop it really doesn't have any impact on the on the model as far as the sequence that it was made but what you can do is you can right click and you can detach a piece of geometry and then you can go ahead and make your edit like so and then notice the little checkbox next to that it's kind of showing me where that little fragment is you can just right click and attach that back in just as if it was modeled in the other sequence so that's how you change the order of your model geometry but there's actually a very easy way to solve this problem, and it's right on the command bar, or sometimes the documentation will call this the quick bar. So I'm going to go and select my rib and just pick my dimension. So notice the blue faces, those, those will both be moving. I'll start to make the edit. I'll see, I'll bring this out to maybe uh, three, and I'm just going to hit. Uh, tab uh, so I can kind of sit and look at that instead of hitting enter right here in your quick bar you'll see that there's a model priority option so this essentially changes the solution to be uh, in a little bit different order so it's it's done you know in an order that preserves the existing geometry versus um, the edited geometry. So that is really the best solution and you just want to keep an eye on your your quick bar up here. You'll see some other options for how the model is solved, whether it tips the faces or trims or extends. This isn't a good example to really show you these options. Maybe we'll do it in another video. 
So there's a quick tip for editing in synchronous technology uh, with Solid Edge.